People pretend they really know how to love, but many of them, they do not even understand what love is because you cannot love someone and have no justice. There is no love without justice. Just think of someone who loves his children so much that uh, even when they when they break glasses in the house, they are never punished. That is not love because in the future, that child is going to break, uh, you know, is going to break banks and is going to spoil people's things and then they are going to be um, taken to jail. Did you really love them? You see, love can be defined in so many ways. There are people who just take love as a general word of saying just doing away with any crime oh come on you've done this but i love you but they can be there can't be love without justice and uh when we talk about true love there is uh, types of also love there is unconditional love and there is conditional love conditional love is when you tell somebody i love you because you smile very well so if the smile fails then that love has ended I love you because you speak well to me. I love you because you look like this. I love you because you do this to me. That is conditional love. But then there's another one called unconditional love. And this is the kind of love which has no limitations. And uh, you see, when you really want to love someone, you have to give him the reality of how things are like. And uh, the reality is you cannot love and not be good to the person that you're loving and what, what does this have to mean let me explain to you you see the bible tells us love is the fulfillment of the law okay love is a fulfillment of the law and it tells us that god is love in the book of first john 5 3 it says for this is the love of god that we keep his commandments so how do we show god that we love him by keeping his commandments and the bible says and his commandments are not grievous why why are these commandments not grievous? Because they are full of love. Commandments of God are all about love. Let me explain to you something here. And I want you to get it very well. If, when the Bible says in Romans 13.10 that love worketh no ill to his neighbor, it worketh no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is a fulfillment of the law. When you love somebody, you will definitely not do wrong things to him. And when God gave us the commandments, he literally was saying, fulfill the whole law by loving others. Because the fulfillment of the law is love God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. With these two commandments, you have fulfilled every other commandment. Why? Because all the other commandments are based on love. And if you check the commandments, for example, let me just give you the top 10. You know, there are about 613 laws which are given by God in the first five books of the Bible, the Pentateuch. But uh, let's just concentrate on the 10 commandments. You see, the Bible speaks this in the book of Exodus chapter 20. And it says that um, verse, from verse 3, the first commandment is, you shall have no other gods before me. Why is God saying don't have other gods before me? Because how can you love me and be a player? <laughs> you want to worship this and worship me. You don't really love me. So he's trying to show you, you cannot be a player if you really love. The second one, you shall not make unto you any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in heaven beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Why should you not make any graven image? Because you are the image of God. Remember in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, God said, let us make man in our own image. So when you start making other images of wood and stone, you're literally telling God, God, I don't really love your image. I don't really love your image. Let me change this image into some wood and stone. So you're literally not fulfilling love. Do you see the point? Uh, the other verse 5 says, you shall not bow down yourself to them. Don't worship these images, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, your God, am a jealous God. Who is not jealous with what he loves? Who is not jealous with the woman that they love or a man that you love? And he says, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. If you hate me, then I'm going to hate everything that that is connected with you. Just the same way when you're in a relationship and the person you're in a relationship with hates you, then you're not going to like anything that they have, not even their clothes, not even their perfumes, not even their cars, not even their relatives. You're going to just do away with everything. That is 
<laughs> True love has jealousy. All right? And God, all these his commandments, they are all about love. And then he says, And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. And then verse 7, You shall not take the name of the Lord God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain. This is pretending that, Oh, I love God. Oh, my God. All oh, these people who keep on swearing, but they don't really mean. Just think of a... You're in a relationship and someone keeps on saying, this is my wife, this is my wife, but you don't mean it. How will the wife feel like? Don't, don't call me if you don't really love me. Don't mention me if you don't really care about me. All right? You've seen that. And then he says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Many people are always confused about this Sabbath. And I'm going to make another video about Sabbath. Sabbath means rest. Okay? And where are we resting? Is it a day? Are we resting on Saturday, Sunday? Is it a day or is it a thing? Remember the Bible says, when you get saved, you enter into his rests. And now you have rested in Christ. So Sabbath means salvation. Remember your salvation and stay holy. Remember you have been kept holy. Salvation is being brought in holy. Okay? is being separated from the world that is what holiness is all about that is the sabbath the sabbath <laughs> okay anyway well i'm going to make another video about that and uh th there are so many you know honor your father and your mother that your days may be long of course if you don't honor your father and mother do you really love them do you know that they are the ones who brought you into the world? And uh, if you don't honor your father and mother, then it's going to be, uh, you know, things are not going to work out well for you because your father and your mother always wants good for you. And if Jesus really loves us, he would want you to honor them so that by the time you and Jesus are becoming one, you're married to Christ, that you be not a mad person. <laughs> you see, it's like when you're, when you're betrothed a woman, Maybe she's young and like the way in the African culture it used to be, you know, you, you, you check on a woman and you say that that girl will be my wife at some point, you know, like in the Maasai and other places, that's what they do. And then the grooming starts. You will want that girl to honor the father and mother so that she can be kept well safe until the day she'll be married to the one who loves her. So. When God says all these things, I don't want to go much. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. Do not steal. Don't bear false witness against your neighbor. Do not covet. All those things are about love. And there can never be love without justice. When someone does wrong, there must be justice. And God told us his commandments are not grievous. And if you are going to listen... If you're going to follow his commands, if you're going to do what exactly he wants, your life will be beautiful. Your life will blossom because the commands of God are not grievous. They are all about love. They are all about understanding. For sure, there's one person who really loved us. And my friend, that is true love. That is real love. Everything else that we do here is just some bunch of jokes. So if you really want to love God, keep his commandments.